Hi folks, today's tutorial is a little bit different and quite fun. We'll be recreating the logo from the 2017 Marvel movie Thor Ragnarok. Let's take a look at the movie logo. Now as you can see, this is primarily a typographical logo with some gradients running through it and some 3D effects. So let's try recreating this in PowerPoint. Let's open a new slide and go to Format Background and let's change the background to black. Let's click on Apply to All so all our slides come out black. And let's bring in this logo over here as a reference and crop it so only Thor is visible. Now let's create a text box and type in the letters T H O R. Let's change it to white and increase the font size. Now let's change the font to something called Dameron. This is the closest font that I could find that matches the logo. And of course, I'll be giving the link to download the font in the description. So let's get started editing this. Let's right click on it and go to Format Shape. Let's go to Text Options. And as we can see, the original logo has a yellow to orange gradient running through it. So first, let's fill a gradient into our font. Let's go to the first stop, go to eyedropper and select the bright yellow. And let's go to the final stop, go to the eyedropper and select this dark burnt orange. We can delete the stops in the middle and bring the two stops closer together so that the gradient is quite easily visible. Next, having done that, let's go to Text Effects, go to 3D Rotation, in the Presets, let's select the Perspective Above. Let's close 3D Rotation and go to 3D Format. And this is where we'll be creating most of our effects. The first thing we need to do is add a depth to our 3D Rotation. So let's give it a nice large depth. I've given it about 50 points. In the depth color, let's go to eyedropper and select this brown that they have in the shadow. And it's already looking quite similar. In material, we leave it as warm matte. And in lighting, we'll change it to two point so that it matches even more closely with the original logo. Our next step is to change the top bevel to cross and the bottom bevel to cross as well. In the top bevel, let's increase the width and increase the width in the bottom bevel as well to the same amount. Now as a disclaimer, we won't be able to get the logo exactly same as the one that we have originally, but we'll get pretty close. Now having done this, I'll make a few more adjustments. I'll increase the depth a little bit more. I'll go back to our text fill and also adjust our gradient. The next thing to do is go to text outline and give it a gradient line. Again, we'll use the same yellow and burnt orange colors for the gradient. We'll remove the unnecessary stops. Add a third yellow stop. Let's change the direction and angle. 
And finally, let's increase the width of our outline. Play with the angle a little bit more. There we go. And as you can see, we've managed to match the original logo by quite a bit. Now let's create the second part of this. Let's open a new slide and recrop our image to reveal the Ragnarok part of it. Let's add another text box and type out Ragnarok. Change the font to white and increase its size. Now for the Ragnarok part of the logo, we'll be using a font called M-O-D-I Modi Thorson. And again, I'll give the link in the description to download this font. As you can see, this font closely matches what we have in the original logo. So once again, let's go to Format Shape, go to Text Options, and let's give it a gradient fill. Now, as we can see, the gradient in the original logo goes from dark blue to light blue to white, and then back to blue. So we'll follow the similar pattern. Let's go to Eyedropper, fill in the dark blue. Then on the next stop, let's fill in the lighter blue. The third stop will be white. And we'll add another stop with the light blue once again. Now let's adjust these stops. So the white is approximately in the middle and bring the dark a little further down. There we go. Now as we can see the logo also has a white outline to it. So let's go to text outline and give it a solid line and change the color to white. I think a one point width works well with this. Now let's go to our text effects. Let's go to 3D rotation and once again give it the above perspective. Let's go back to 3D format now. And once again let's give it some depth. Let's change the color to brown and the lighting to two point. So this has already closely started matching what we have in the original logo. Let's select what we've created till now. A few adjustments. Let's select what we've created and duplicate it. And let's select another variant of Modi Thorson which is the Modi Thorson gradient font. This will help us recreate the lines on the lower half of the logo. So let's open a new slide. Select the first font we created and paste it as a picture. Then let's select the second font we created and paste that as a picture as well. Select both pictures and align them in the center and the middle. Now let's select the top picture, go to picture format and crop. Let's crop it down to halfway. And then let's select the picture behind it and crop it from the bottom so that it matches the previous crop. Select both. Control G to group them. Let's bring the Thor word down. And finally, we can add the Marvel logo to the top. Let's select everything, align to center. And let's take a look. And I think that looks pretty good. 
I bet if you showed this to someone at first glance, they wouldn't be able to tell that this was created in PowerPoint. I hope you find this content helpful. Hit the like and subscribe buttons to show your love. Once again, thank you for watching and remember to keep on creating.